Hello there. I'd like to tell how to construct a new metric on the real line. Recall that metric is a function that defines a distance between elements of a set. It must satisfy four conditions. Non-negativity, symmetry, triangle inequality, and it should be equal to zero if and only if its arguments are equal. Standard metric on the line looks like this. Well, how can we invent new lemon-flavored metric? Suppose that you have a bijective function that establishes one-to-one -one correspondence between points of a real line and points of a set that lives in the plane R2. R2 itself is equipped with Euclidean distance between points. We want to find a clever way of assigning number given two points of a line. The recipe is as follows. Given two points on a line, we transform them into points in the plane with the help of the given bijective function. Then we compute Euclidean distance between points in the plane and say that this number is actually a distance between the two points we started with. Easy to show that this function satisfies all necessary conditions to be a metric. Metric defined in this way is called the pullback of the Euclidean metric of the plane. The set in the plane the line is mapped to could be a curve or some weird looking fractal structure or even a square. You can map line into space curves as well. Mapping the line into curve is like deforming a string, or rather, a rubber band. These little rings correspond to infinities. The variety of curves you can use is limited only by your imagination. You can map line into a circle with one point excluded, or some H-shape curve, or something else. Let's examine a few examples. You can use either of these parametrizations to establish one-to-one -one correspondence between points of a line and a circle with one point excluded from it. Those are famous and meaningful parametrizations, they are not accidental. I hope I'll make another video devoted to them. If you do the math, you'll end up with this new metric on a line. You can map line into this H-shaped curve known as Lamniscid of Bernoulli. As a result, the new metric emerges. I call it Lamniskit metric. This metric is quite unusual. Now, recall that metric space is compact if every sequence has a convergent subsequence. R, equipped with usual metric, is not compact. That's because, as a rule, we can't extract convergent subsequence from the sequence that blows up to infinity. However, R becomes compact when equipped with the Lamniskit metric. Indeed, points that blow up to infinity in the usual metric are mapped into the vicinity of zero point. That's why zero will be the accumulation point for all sequences that blow up to infinity, and so we can extract converging subsequences for all such sequences. Now, eventually, we can use this weird-looking curve to generate yet another metric.
I want to emphasize that it may not be so easy to prove directly that this function, or Lanisky metric, satisfies triangle inequality.